what is a 24-hour resignation rule in the UAE? Remember, when we are talking about resignation, we can't fail to mention what we call the contract. The contract is what governs the resignation, or it also it will stipulate exactly what is supposed to be within the rules, and no one should actually be or no one should actually um, uh, bleach what you call the contract that is signed between the two parties, that is the employer and the employee. When we are talking about the 24-hour resignation rule in the UAE, remember, we are looking at a situation whereby you can resign without notice under what you call unlimited contract. Uh, yeah, um, so long as there is this, this, uh, this conclusion, of the contract. Remember, when you finish your contract in what we call the unlimited, uh, unlimited contract, you can resign. Uh, you can resign. You can resign without notice, and you can go without even uh, getting permission from your employer. That is what is under what you call a 24-hour rule. You do not need. You do not need a, a, a notice period uh, after its contract or what if. Or after that contract is being concluded with your employer, according to according to the time that both of you agreed. Remember, in this scenario, we are looking at a situation whereby you do not bleach what we call the contract clauses that you signed as you coming or as you signed between you and that employer. Then, under what you call the 24-hour resignation rule, you are free to to leave and go without even. Uh, a notice period and you'll be compensated or you'll be given whatever you owe to that company and your gratitude will be instantly calculated and given to you as per the new labor law but when we look at that we definitely need to understand what does the law state or what does it say remember when we are talking about the law we, we can't mention to to look at what we call the article 1122 and also we can't may fail to mention what we call um, uh, uh, the law the federal law number eight which governs that 24 hour rule where you can resign where you can resign without notifying your employer under what we call the any limited contract what does the law or law say or what does it say it says that as per article 112 of the federal law number 8 of 1980 an employer may end the unlimited contract at any time after its conclusion the only condition is that the employee must give a written notice to his employer at least 30 days prior to resignation. A contract of employment is signed which is normally has a clause stating that a monthly notice period should be given at a termination of contract by either party. This is what normally I always keep on telling guys that I always keep on telling you when you are signing those contracts you should be very vigilant. When you are signing those contracts, that contract not, that contract you get to sign with the employer may either deter you to move to another company or may either deter you to move to the next station or put you in a clause where you have to complete first. So meaning that whatever kind of contract you get to sign between you and the employer should you should make sure that you understand the clauses when i'm supposed to resign what do i need how much notice period do i have to give when i'm going to resign definitely under the contract that you should know because all those clauses are as, as are written down are written down in that manner that you should understand when I'm about to terminate or when I want to terminate my contract what do I need to do should I give this employer a notice period and if so how much period am I supposed to give my employer if I want to terminate this contract? So normally when we look at the contract, it's also governed so much when we talk about resignation, then definitely you cannot fail to mention what we call a contract because it is the contract that definitely um, matches or definitely that governs all that we are talking about. Remember, this is makes from the next creation as we are talking talking about the latest updates all around the Gulf in the Middle East. For uh, my subscriber, for the subscriber that ask about this question, I hope I've tried to answer you right well, and you definitely now to understand that if you are under what you call unlimited contract, then you must go back to look into your contract and you say what did you agree? Uh, what did you agree upon be with your employer? Was it a notice period of 30 days? Yes, fine, give the 30 days, then you can move on amicably or you can move without any indulgement or any uh, any refusal by your employer thank you so much see you again in the next video as we try to see more of this update.